All right, what's up, gang? Today we're going to be talking about a brand new app called Clubhouse. It is invite only. And recently, the likes of Drake and Kevin Hart and many other celebrities have been using the app. And essentially, I look at it as almost like a new version of radio talk show hosting. You know, the same way that you would tune into The Breakfast Club or any of your other favorite, you know, radio shows when you're driving down the road. This is kind of similar, but now this is accessible to almost anyone. So a couple quick housekeeping items about this app that you'll want to know before you watch this video is that this currently at the time of filming this video is only available for Apple iOS devices. So I'm holding an iPhone and this is what the app looks like when you first open it. When you open it, essentially you're greeted with a feed of different live conversations that are happening. And you also have a schedule at the top of the app that shows you any upcoming scheduled talks that will be happening. I'll quickly join an app just to show you what it looks like. Turn the volume down on my phone. But uh, here I am, I'm in the big dogs only chat, whatever that is. And at the top, you see the people that have either hosted this chat and or are moderating the chat, as well as anybody at the top that has raised their hand to speak in the discussion or the conversation. Below that, you're going to see a separate secondary group of people that are followed by anybody who is a speaker in that conversation. So you could almost think of this as like the popular kids that are in this conversation because they are followed by the people who are actually hosting or speaking inside of that discussion. And then below that, there is a third group of just everybody else that is in that room. So far, Clubhouse is pretty cool. I'm not entirely sold on the longevity of this app. It's currently valued at like a hundred million dollars or something like that because it is founded by uh, former Google employees and some other well-known individuals in Silicon Valley. I don't know their names off the top of my head, but when I was researching the app, you can see that it is funded and backed by people who do know what they're doing. It is a fun app. I find that you have to spend time really finding discussions where people have experience leading a discussion. It is not fun to just listen to people ramble um, and people that don't have a lot of experience speaking or just leading a group discussion. As an example, people that are constantly just interrupting each other or not good taking turns speaking about a certain topic, or somebody who's hosting a discussion that is not used to engaging with people inside of their group and not taking time to actually include somebody like yourself in the discussion, uh, somebody that's just constantly rambling on. Now, the big question and the big elephant in the room is how do you get invited to use this app so the best thing that I can recommend that you do is open the contacts on your phone and look through all the contacts you've ever saved and try to think of the people who, that, who are likely to have access to the app. Now, the likelihood of you being invited is kind of just a toss up. It's really just a 50-50 shot. Um, I was fortunate, my friend Dallas, shout out to him. Literally, as I was looking at this app and thinking about it, I was like, man, uh, who are the people that I need to reach out to see if they have an invite? Here is what happened to me and that is possibly also happening to you at the moment. You're reaching out to people who you think might have access and saying, hey, have you heard of Clubhouse? Do you have an invite? Um, and I came across two people that did have access. One had already used their invite. The second person told me, here is what they said. They said, um, you know, hey, I have to be very picky about who I use my invite for because essentially I'm endorsing that person. And uh, if that person ever breaks the terms of service of the Clubhouse app or something like that, it will impact my reputation. I kind of think they were full of shit. I don't really know because now I have access to the app and that's not the impression that I got exactly. Um, it was more or less just kind of like clout or bragging points when you invite somebody to the app. And I think of that as an incentive to of why I think of it as a reason why people are very they hold their invites close and they don't want to give them away um, I don't even see where I have an invite on the app and I will share my phone here so that you have a better view of really what's going on with this app so that I can kind of walk you through it and show you what I'm seeing on my end so essentially we've got a handful of different features okay in the top left 
you've got your follow button where you can scroll through and anybody that you're connected with on your phone or any popular accounts, you can scroll through and follow these people. Um, over here next, you have the calendar. This is gonna show you any upcoming discussions and talks that are happening. And it's gonna be sorted in chronological order. Then next, you're gonna see your notification tab, which shows you, you know, who followed you and anything that's going on with your friends list, just like any other social media app. And then of course you have your profile. So this will be a really great time to tell you to get connected with me on Clubhouse. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Mike Metzger. I'm a digital marketer. I run two different marketing and media companies, mostly related to sports. And most of what I do is digital advertising and web development. So I host a lot of discussions or will be rather hosting discussions on you know, marketing and running a business for anybody that's in their 20s or 30s and feels like they could use some advice in that area. Now, I don't have anything to sell. I've noticed that a lot of people on this app you know, are pushing to help themselves land clients and try to sell digital products and things like that, which I'm sure that there will be a wave of people using this app to try and do this. It's almost like live podcasting. I actually think it's pretty cool. Now, as I say that, I haven't found myself really finding a ton of value in some of the discussions that have been going on, but I am glad that I had an invite. So be sure to go through your friends list and think of who could possibly have a spare invite laying around and what can you do for that person in exchange for them inviting you. If not, the best thing you can do is to go ahead and get on the wait list. And the reason I say this is because when you get on the wait list for Clubhouse, you'll reserve your username, which is pretty critical. And then when you do that and you enter in your phone number, it will actually alert anybody that is in your contacts that you have now joined the wait list and they can bump you to the front of the wait list. And that is what happened for me. I went ahead and reserved my username and my spot in line and it alerted all of my friends in my contacts list on my phone that I had joined the wait list. And one of my friends went ahead and helped me out and helped me bump the line and I was able to get access to the app. So that is the one thing that people are not talking about that I've looked at these other YouTube videos and nobody's telling you to do that. So go ahead and join the waitlist, and this is what the text will look like when somebody invites you. They'll see that you joined and hopefully within a short amount of time, you'll get a notification that looks like this one. It'll show up on your phone as a text message and you'll click that link and boom, it'll put you right into the app, which I think is pretty cool. Now back to the app itself. If you want to be somebody who's utilizing this app and you're not just somebody who's listening to other discussions, you can then take the role of being a host. You can also set up clubs on the app, which I'll talk about in a second. But let's say that you wanted to start a room, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the channel that I was looking at a minute ago, and I'm gonna hit leave quietly. Now, obviously my voice is not being you know, broadcasted into this room. If I wanted to speak, I can hit the little waving hand it will raise my hand and then the host of this discussion can choose on if they would like to let me in as an actual speaker. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and click leave quietly. I'm gonna leave that chat. And now if I wanted to start a room, I just simply click this button and now I can choose between the different types of rooms I can start. I can create an open room, a social room, which is only a room with people that I follow, and then a closed room, which would be a private room. And obviously the only people that could join would be the people that have that dedicated private link, or you can just choose people directly from your friends list. So those are the different rooms that you can choose. If I go ahead and create an open room, it's going to literally just start up a room and then people can join me. It has no topics, no anything like that. Um, there is nothing, um, you can tell I got caught off guard. I didn't know it was just gonna like make me live. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm broadcasting in this room you know, I didn't create a title. I didn't create anything about what it's about. Um, in the top right, you have community guidelines and those are always present in every room. And essentially you can just talk about stuff. You could think of this as literally being at a party and you're with a group of people and you're having a discussion and you're talking about something and somebody else just walks up and kind of says, hey, what's up? What are you talking about? And they join your discussion. That's literally what this is. Now, what I would probably prefer and how I see myself and possibly you using this app is to schedule a talk inside of a room. And again, you're gonna to go to the calendar. It's gonna show you all the upcoming events in chronological order, and you're gonna hit the top right button that shows how to add an event. And now I think this is a much more effective way to use this app. You can set the date and time that you wanna do this, and then you can choose the, the event name. So I could say, you know, I wanna do a room uh, that's titled First Thoughts About Clubhouse App. Um, 
and then I can choose a description. Now, the more descriptive you are, the better because details are what make people feel confident about joining your room and listening to what you and others have to say. So I could go ahead and schedule this out, and then if I do that, it's going to show up in my upcoming events at the top. It's gonna to show that I have an upcoming event. Now, when that event comes up, you'll get a push notification on your phone from the Clubhouse app that will actually ask you to start the room, and when you click start, you're live, and then you're gonna wait for your followers and anybody that has your event on their feed to join that discussion. Um, again, this would be a good time to tell you to go ahead and follow me on Clubhouse. I'll put my information in the description below, uh, and you guys can get connected with me on there. You know, there's lots of other topics that I like that aren't just marketing. There's MMA, there's cars, there's fashion, and there's a lot of cool discussions that go on on here. I listened to some really funny ones uh, with 21 Savage as the host that I thought were pretty uh, entertaining. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on here that is uh, mostly about, and maybe this is just my feed because of the people that I follow, which is most likely, but a lot of stuff about, you know, marketing and making money online and, uh, and stuff like that. But it seems pretty cool. And I mean, it's just like any other app where you have a feed and you can find all kinds of different discussions to chime in and talk. And uh, I think that you could have some fun on it. I think you would like it. But obviously the big barrier is getting an invite to the app which I know is the hardest part. So again, I encourage you to go ahead and join the waitlist. So download the app on your phone, reserve your username, and it will put you on the waitlist. It will notify any of your friends that have access to the app. It will notify them that you've joined the waitlist. And then hopefully, if you're a good friend, they'll do you a solid and they'll bump you to the front of the line and you will get access. Now, Again, I don't know if I accidentally used my one invite that I had, but I do not have, I don't even have an invite. But originally when I downloaded the app, there was like a little envelope thing here with a little star by it. And that was my one invite. I have a feeling that I, I think I accidentally used it somehow. Um, so I'm not really sure, but that is where you will find your one invite. You will click it and it will ask you if you want to send it to one of your contacts, which I think is the only way you can send the invite is somebody has to actually be saved as a contact in your phone. Um, and I believe that's how it works. Now, when you go to your profile, you can create a description and you can also link your Twitter account and your Instagram account. It doesn't allow you to link anything else like YouTube or TikTok or anything like that. Um, and then at the bottom, it shows who nominated you. So you see my buddy Dallas nominated me and you can actually follow the entire kind of family tree of how you ended up on Clubhouse. And you can keep clicking that nominated by button at the bottom and it will bring you to what's called your genesis. And that is the an original person that actually was the reason that down the line you got invited. So I'm all the way at the top of my line here and I have found this person that was probably one of the original people on Clubhouse app and they invited somebody who invited somebody who invited somebody who invited me. So it's kind of neat and it's got this cool organic kind of style to it. I think you can grow a following very quickly on this app. You know, when I look at people that are hosting conversations, as I scroll through here, every channel that I'm looking at has at least 50 people in it, but most of them have a few hundred, you know, 684, 597, 430, 359, 356. You know, so there's hundreds of people in each discussion. And then when you click on it, there's usually 10 to 15 people that are in the actual, you know, that, that are holding the talking stick, so to say. Um, you know, anywhere from five to 15 people that are kind of actively participating in the discussion. You can mute yourself so that you're not interrupting, and that's probably what everybody would recommend. And then when it's your time to speak, you just unmute yourself and you can talk, just like a regular discussion. So those are my initial thoughts so far. That is what Clubhouse is. That is how you can potentially get an invite and my recommendations on how to do so as quickly as possible. If you have questions, be sure to comment down below. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated throughout my journey. If this video has helped you, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as I will be posting a lot more frequently as time goes on and as we roll into 2021. I hope that everybody has a great holiday and a happy new year, and I'll talk to you soon.